Today we're gonna to look at two objectives and one of them is super duper uber wunderbar important. So uh, you're gonna to have to pay attention. If you can't accomplish this task during the exam, you and I are gonna fail. And so we're gonna to have to fork over the money again, do the whole shebang again, and we don't wanna do that. So uh, we're gonna learn this today and we're gonna do this every single day until we pass the exam because don't do it once, twice, three times lady and think that you know it. You're gonna actually have to do this multiple times because I know for a fact after taking multiple exams um, that not remembering certain parameters during the exam is gonna be stressful. So let's just learn these few things really well and so we don't have to worry about it during the exam. So let's jump over to uh, my trusty browser and then uh, so we're gonna not gonna be looking at this today. We're gonna do that later. Uh, we're gonna look at operate running systems. So first, boot, reboot, and shut down a system normally. If you cannot do this by now, we're gonna have to talk. But I don't wanna come off as judgy. Uh, so let's just quickly take a look at how we accomplish that. System CTL, power off and then system CTL reboot. And you might be asking yourself, if you're a long time Linux administrator, like, hey buddy, why, why are you using system CTL instead of just the good old commands? Well, thank you for asking. Um, I like the participation from the crowd. We're, we're one, we are uh, working together. Uh, so let's just do stat user sbin power off. And as you can see here, it's actually a symbolic link. <laughs> so that's what you're doing. So I am just a huge system D fan. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just I just got into the habit of using system CTL power off reboot, uh, etc. So uh, that's what I do now. And so now you know how to boot a machine. Hopefully if it's a physical machine, you use your fingers. I'm not gonna be doing that during the exam, so don't think about that. But if you have to reboot, you reboot like this, or power off a machine. At the end of the exam, you have to power it off, I have been told. Um, so now you know how to do that. No shame, no shame. We're all learning. Um, so boot systems into different targets manually. So this is where it gets greasy, people. Um, let's jump over to machine again. Um, so right now I'm using a graphical target because it actually just looks better on video. So I'm doing it for you guys. Uh, if you ever log into a rel server and looks like that, you're gonna have to ask some questions but i'm going to show you what it looks like well why hello i'm not root what's happening people i i always roll as root no usually a sudo or something i don't know um but uh so let's do system ctl isolate that actually changes the running target that you the target that you're running um, so not right now we, we're running in a graphical, but we want to change into a multi user target. This is hopefully how it looks, what it looks like when you log into a server. So this is how you would change a running target. Let's go back to the graphical. So system CTL isolate, and then the target that you want to run. Um, thank you. I'm here every weekend. Um, so we're back. Uh, what you can do, this is just get default. This is just for giggles. You can see running system CTL, get default, what target you're running. Um, let's go back to the browser and it says boot systems into different targets manually. Oh yeah, yeah. So thank you for reminding me. Uh, 
what you have to potentially do during the exam, I don't know, but uh, this is just on the job tip um, that you actually have to, let's just change it during the grub, during boot. Let's, let's change it in grub. Um, system CTL, Rebot. See, people, we're already using what we're learning. It's, it's mind blowing. Uh, e, I'm not quick enough. I am not quick enough. I cannot get into grub. So, see, quickest fingers in Iceland. Don't act like you're not impressed. Um, so, find the line that says Linux and go to the end of the line. Take away this garbage because we don't want any quietness. We actually want to see what the system is showing us during a boot. So what we do is systemd dot unit equals whatever target that we want to log into or load be the preferred term uh, get with it. So systemd dot unit equals you have two options really. Uh, you have the emergency dot target and the rescue dot target. So what's the difference? Uh, that's the difference. No, the, I'll show you my notes. Um, and I have to tell you something. Look into the description for this video. You're going to see a link to Linux.tube. And uh, that's where you find all my notes, etc. Um, so here you have the different targets. So emergency, emergency.target loads a minimal environment. And so if you have issues with LVM or something that's really breaking early, uh, you want to get into an emergency target. But if you want to uh, load a few more tools, services, stuff like that, you use the rescue.target. So it kind of depends, but I default to the emergency one at first, and then I go to rescue uh, if I have to go to rescue. So it just depends on the situation at hand. Um, let's go back to the machine. So how you would accomplish this is just uh, do emergency.target or rescue.target. So let's just do emergency and then do control X. And now we see a lot of text because we took the RHGB quiet away because we actually want to see what's happening on the machine. And we will be prompted for a root password, which we give it. And now we can see that we are in the emergency target. And so let's just leave that target. Um, and during, if you go into that target, you're going to have to remount because it's going to be a read only file system, uh, which we will cover now because now we're going to do the juicy freaking breaking cracking hacking thing which is going to, it's going to make us look really cool to nobody but it's, it's cool to be able to reset the root password without knowing it i guess um let me see what am i looking at here mm -mm 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 -mm. i'm gonna look at the notes again not in my notes, um, the objectives. Uh, so this is the next thing that we're going to do. Interrupt the boot process in order to gain access to a system. In order to gain access to a system. It sounds kind of like CIA, Mission Impossible type of thing. Hey, I just noticed I look like an angel. Oh, man. Good stuff. Good stuff. See, it's really interesting to wear a green cap with a green screen. So I'm not going to do that again. So my failure um, in life. So let's crack the root password, people. System CTL reboot. Uh, let's see if I'm quick enough. E, e spamming E to enter grub. And oh, I did. So Linux, go to the end of the line. So there are two ways to accomplish this, and I will show you my preferred way. So init equals 
bin bash. Bin bada bash bada bing. So, like I said probably earlier, do this multiple times. Don't just do this once and think you've got it because it's going to be super annoying during the exam to sit there and look at the grub and just cannot, you cannot remember whatever you were supposed to type. And you're going to be like, Arman, why didn't you tell me? See, now I've told you. So in it, uh, bin bash, min bash. And so let's clear the screen. And so let's do touch wife. I cannot touch my wife because it's a read-only file system. And so we're going to have to remount it with the read-write options. So mount minus O, remount, read-write, and then it's switching between Icelandic and English keyboards on me here, so it's why I'm having issues. Um, so mount, oh wait, I think I know what's happening. See? If this happens to you, just do the arrow up so you can run your last com command again. See if there's a, like weird characters that come in. Maybe that's just a virtual box thing because I hasn't happened to me uh, before. But it happens in virtual box for some reason. Anyways, uh, see now we have mounted it with uh, read write and we're going to touch the wife. We were able to touch the wife. So what we can actually do is just password and because we're already logged in as root, um, change the root password, just issue password and then new password. And so because Red Hat runs SE Linux, we're going to have to relabel uh, our stuff. So we're going to touch auto relabel. This is really important, so don't skip this. Uh, and so what I'm going to do now is exec user lib systemd systemd. You can, I think now in 9.4, just type reboot. Uh, in, in rel 9, I, it, reboot didn't work. So maybe we should just try it. But OK, well, I'm going to put the this line into the notes as well because uh, you can actually book two re RHCSA exams number nine and then number 9.4 so if you book number book nine and uh, you can't do reboot this is what you do let's do reboot just to see if it works <gasps> it doesn't work I'm lying to you Uh, because it hasn't loaded. Yeah, so that's how you do it. That's how the cookie crumbles. That's, and see now it's auto relabeling. You're like, this is just pure music. This is actually just almost heavenly. And so now you've done the coolest thing that the cool kids on the block are doing all day. It's resetting root passwords that they don't know the password to. So this might take a minute, but this machine is super small, so it's going to take 47 seconds. Um, I have no idea. Anyways, so let's check out the new root password, see if it works. Bow, bow, bow. This is so exciting, people. I'm so excited. I just can't hide. Do you think YouTube is going to give me a copy? Copyright strike because this actually sounded like the original. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Um, terminal, let's fire it up. Fire it up. SU. <gasps> we are hackers, people. We are one. So today we learned how to hack, reset the root password, which was amazing. Well, let's go back to the objectives because I just kind of want to look at those again with my heavenly angelic or, or, Aurora. 
Aroma? Aroma? Who knows? I don't speak English. Anyways, I'm not a wizard, people. Uh, so boot, reboot, shut down. You learned the system CTL reboot and power off. Um, boot systems into different targets manually. You learned about rescue and emergency and the difference and see my notes on Linux.2. And then interrupt the boot process in order to gain access to a system, which is uh, what we just did, the hackers. So stay tuned, click like, 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 and subscribe if you want to, of course you want to. And uh, check out the next video about the next objective. See you later.